good morning YouTube. I'm going to check out the creek. Mission Creek. We have had uh, some serious runoff and a lot of snowpack in the hills. And we just had a heavy rain and a lot of people are worried about flooding. So, so I was here, let's see, it was um, last year, two days prior to this date. I have photographs and I'm thinking it's a little higher than it was then. Yeah, definitely. I don't know how deep that would be in the center, but quite deep. Maybe 10, 15 feet. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's a, that's a lot of water. This creek is called Mission Creek. I used to live right with this in my backyard. In a more wild section than this. So it was pretty awesome. Here in the, here in the creek, in the night with the windows open, going to sleep, smelling the cottonwoods at the uh, right time of year. Beautiful. So let's go for a quick little spin and uh, then go home. When I get home I'll show you what I'm currently doing on the Suzuki on the GR650. So right now I'm getting into some of the electrics. Well, not that I'm totally daft on electrics, but uh, never got into motorcycle electrics, like stators and rectifiers. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, so here we are at the GR. And uh, let's see, there's what I'm doing. So this is a new stator. I have to bolt it in yet. Loctite those bolts in. Loctite the uh, wire screw holders. Got a new gasket. And uh, yeah. So hopefully that will, uh, that will improve things. And I also have a new regulator rectifier. There we are. It's an electro sport version and as compared to the original you can see the difference so that will hopefully handle everything better that's a three phase regulator rectifier the original was a two and uh, so I'm going to change the uh, wiring just a little bit. I'll take um, one of these wires out of the loop. This one here, the white uh, green wire. That's where the original stator hooked up to. And um, two of those wires go directly to the rectifier, which was mounted there. And the other one went to a switch up front on the handlebar and then back to the rectifier uh, as a red-white wire. Anyway, that was um, Suzuki's attempt to help dump some power. And uh, it was because it was a two-phase. So now that I've got a three-phase, I can uh, take that out of it. And I'll just wire the stator, the new one, directly to the new rectifier and then eliminating those other connections. That'll be better, I think. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I almost uh, had a bad time here. Uh, the starter pinion here, what I did mistakenly, I, I knocked it and it, it popped out because it's not held in there in any way. And then that gear right there, I don't know whether i am got the camera right for you, but that gear there, um, that then 
the pinion pulled out from that gear, that gear dropped down. Well, it couldn't go very far, so no problem. But I heard this clink, clink, <laughs> and I thought, oh God, no, don't tell me. And there's a washer, there's this little washer here. There's one on the other side of that gear on the shaft. And that dropped down somewhere. I was sure of it. So I picked away at the gasket so I could get a better view because I got a new one anyway. Because the gasket kind of covers over that, uh, you know, the it, it goes in a little bit. So it didn't allow me a view in there. Anyway, I, I could just see it in there and it was laying on a on a bolt. And so I got my rare earth magnet on a pair of needle nose pliers and snapped it out of there. Yay for me. That could have been disastrous. Anyway, that's where I'm at, folks, which uh, isn't very far compared to you know, where I started. You know, I haven't been doing much, but hey, my life took a funny turn. So, well, not so funny, but uh, starting to get into it now, like I say, see what I can do. See if I can get this thing finished and on the road. My goodness, a lot of work to do though yet, eh? New gauges, headlamp, got to rebuild the forks with new springs and seals. And yeah, a lot of work, a little fabrication to do at the rear end there. But hey, I organized a little bit. It's still messy in here, but you know, put up the pegboard and hooks, got some tools up there, easier to access. Got myself a little welder. And this is a flux core welder inverter style rather than transformer. So a little more power for the kind of current that I've got going through it because I only have 14 three wire and 15 amp. Well, I can run that and I've only tripped the breaker once and that's when I had the wire feed and the voltage up to the max on both. Uh, at slightly lower settings, it uh, seems fine, yeah. Someone uh, told me about my first attempts at, uh, at the welding there. It, it kind of looked like a steel bird pooped on the plate. <laughs> and I thought that was kind of funny. So, take care. Catch you on the next one.